Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and this is going to be the redstone explanation video for the 1x2 pop-out door. Um, if you have not seen the tutorial for that, there is a link to it in the description, but let's just go over the redstone real quick. Now, it, I started out with a basic Jeb door design. The problem is the pistons for that would show up right here, and so what I wanted is something that hid all of the mechanics behind this kind of a relief look and to get that you would need a double piston extender you're still doing a piston bank extending the door mechanism out but this time it takes a few more pistons and you're using a double piston extender so we've technically got two circuits going here we've got one to do the extension and retraction of the door mechanism and then another one to do the double piston extender arrangement, okay? So you can just see this go here, okay? And what I wanted to do is make sure that the extension happened first when you turn on the circuit and then or the, uh, the door extension to move it out into the walkway happened first and then the double piston extender goes and then the reverse when the circuit turns off. So the double piston extender retracts the door block and then this bank fires, okay? So we've got two mechanisms for doing that. You can see the, the cycle going a little bit right here. So first things first, let's explain the, um, the piece where a signal goes in, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a signal start from this block and what we're going to do first is the signal comes up and goes out across these blocks and these blocks get powered which then extends all of these pistons right here we've got a repeater on a one tick delay and then so that's those pistons extend in about two to two and a half depending on the overall speed of those pistons and then we've got another repeater right here on three ticks so that takes a signal from this block three ticks later it pushes the signal out through this setup so by that point the double piston extender should be in place and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have power going right here that's fine because the piston isn't there yet this piston will extend and that moves this this piston extends that which moves these two pistons in place in front of this piece of redstone dust which is already powered and so that will power that we can see this in action okay now on the retraction what's going to happen is the signal stops okay and this signal once it turns off this piston a set of pistons contracts and then two ticks later this one retracts which will pull both of these or will pull this one okay then we need to fire these again to grab those door blocks and that's where the four ticks comes in okay let's just see that you see how this set of pistons does an extra firing well that's part of the double piston extender at least on the retraction side now when that signal stops um, this side is going to actually st remove signal um, from this repeater um, first however we don't want that to go we we need the this initial set of pistons to stop a little later because we want to keep this double piston extender in place long enough to pull that door back so that's why we have this other circuit up here okay and I'm using repeaters in this case kinda like diodes okay so when the signal comes from here around I want to make sure it does not back feed into the system over here and that's what this repeater is for okay so we want to make sure that this double piston extender has done its full cycle of retract the first set retract the last set and then go back and get the door again we want to make sure we have enough time to before we pull the whole assembly back into the wall okay so that's why there are six 
uh, delay of six right here. Okay, so when that signal from here stops coming, six ticks later it is going to pull the signal off of these blocks, which will then pull all of that back. So, so here we go. You can watch the the signal a little bit. You see how it extends a little bit there. Watch, watch the relative signals off immediately and then off later. Okay. This goes on immediately. This comes on later. Off immediately. Off later. Okay. So there we go. That's how that piece works. The next part is this little door that I had to destroy to get into the uh, showing you the mechanism here. And this is pretty simple. We've got a torch tower that by default is on. So there is no or a signal from this torch which turns this one off which leaves this one on okay so once there's signal into this block this will turn off this will turn on this will turn off turning off the whole mechanism and we do that with a piston extending okay all right so the way this part works is this torch is now powering this block right here and the piston draws power from blocks surrounding it and that's what extends this one okay and when we're done just pull that back and the door closes so that is the redstone explanation for this door if you enjoyed do let me know either give it a, a thumbs up or let me know in the comments if you think this is a useful feature to have on what could be more complicated builds to split the tutorial and the explanation um, do let me know and uh, I welcome your comments, questions, or suggestions. Just leave those below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. But as always, I do thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.